What's up guys? Here's going to be a quick video on more of our menu tools over here, but stick with me because at the end we're going to make some awesome real life flyers and posters that even a famous comedian or band would use. Okay, so for this video I want to talk about our clone stamp tool and our, and our pattern stamp. I'm going to start out with the clone stamp. And both these tools are extremely exaggerated, meaning that they're not that popular, but they still make Photoshop really cool and they're really fun to use. And here's how they work. So I'll highlight clone stamp tool. I'll release it. And say that I want to do, what has he got, a DuckTales poster here, and then he's got a Viper poster over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click right in the middle of the DuckTales poster, and I'm going to hold Alt. It's going to give me my little, like, scope icon right there, kind of like a sniper or a rifle. Let's click on that. Now, let's go ahead and click on the middle of this Viper, and let's slowly work, or let's uh, drag our mouse around it. What do you guys think of that? But don't go too far. Kind of stay within the means of how big the DuckTales poster is. See that? So now we got our <laughs> we got our DuckTales poster over on our right hand side right now. And that kind of looks weird and fishy, but if you go too far, it's gonna keep creating the whole it takes pretty much any picture right here, and wherever you click on it, it's gonna go ahead and create that picture from that spot as well. So Okay, and then our pattern stamp tool, this this tool is really kind of elementary, but it's still kind of fun. So you can click on any which kind of graph, it zebra colors, so we just click on that, just kind of have fun, just drag and click around. And what do we got over here? This looks like some bubbles, kind of like something you'd see in like biology class or biology book, snake skin or something. And they got more down here. Looks like the inside of a rock or something, kind of, sorta, kind of like a, like a metallic Mario-ish kind of thing. But yeah, in all honesty, again, I don't use these tools that much, but I just kind of want to give you guys the 101 on what you're dealing with, with because in Photoshop you're gonna be staring at this for as long as your Photoshop's gonna be open up. But uh, we kind of covered the majority of like the smaller things right now, and in the next video we'll get back into. The more popular things that you're going to want to know, the more th the more things that are in demand than what is this? Our color drop or our clone stamp tool and our pat pattern stamp tool. All right, guys. Well, uh, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. And in the next video, we will talk about creating a promo. All right.